Bill O'Mara here again with Cooper Hurley Injury Lawyers. And I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about rotator cuff tears. That's an injury that we come across often in our line of work here. And what the rotator cuff is, it's a series of muscles that actually hold your arm into the socket, into the shoulder. It holds it in place and it helps you with range of motion and, and movement. Now, there are two main types of rotator cuff injuries or tears. There's degenerative, which is really just the wear and tear, the aging process. But then there's also what they call acute, um, which is caused by a traumatic event, an injury, a car accident, a fall. And that's the scenario where we encounter it the most. Um, I find with vehicle accidents, um, people can anticipate an accident happening or a car is about to strike them from behind or they see a car coming at them and they grip that wheel as hard as they can or their shoulder gets slammed into the wheel and that can often cause this sort of acute the uh, traumatic tear of the rotator cuff. Um, it can be treated with rest. Uh, it often will not heal on its own. You'll have to get steroid injections or even a surgical procedure to correct it. So it's a very serious injury. Uh, it's a very painful injury. A common symptom is uh, that I, I hear over and over again is people who suffer these injuries have a terrible time, a very difficult time sleeping. Um, that's something that maybe wouldn't be apparent to some people, but um, in addition to the pain, it's, it's also not moving it or immobility can also be very painful. So it's a uh, uh, difficult. You move it too much, it's painful. If you if you don't move it enough, it's a very painful injury. So, if you've suffered a rotator cuff tear through someone else's negligence, uh, call us here at Cooper Hurley, and we'll do everything we can to help you out here. Four five five zero zero seven seven.